are down over 100 points. Michael Lee's with us. Now, Michael was a super bull. He's not now. All right, Mike, <laughs> you turned the corner there. Um, has inflation peaked? Uh, I think it has. It, it looked like it has. And you can look at the prices of various uh, commodities, specifically copper, to ex extrapolate that. And uh, what you are now seeing that we are most likely in a technical recession. The second quarter will most likely contract. Uh, we got that news that we are tracking that way on Friday from the Atlanta Fed. So we're going to have two quarters of contracting GDP. Uh, and so we are in that recession. And now uh, the other thing that's screaming recession and screaming inflation has peaked is uh, the bond market. You have the twos and tens inverting. The 10-year Treasury, now we're in the 2.8 range, up from the 3 and a quarter, 3.30 range uh, just a couple weeks ago. So that buying of the long end of Treasuries, we've also seen a big rally in the 30-year. People believe that uh, inflation has peaked. And the, while okay. the Fed may continue on their course, they're probably not going to get to three and a quarter or three and a half before they pause and start going the other way. That's looking more like two and a half to 275 okay. in that sort of range right there. When I look at the trading activity in big tech, and I'm talking Amazon, Microsoft, et cetera, et cetera. When I look at the trading activity, I think there's, they've hit a bottom. They hit a bottom maybe a, a week ago, and they've bounced up from there. Am I crazy if I say now maybe is the time to buy? So, Stuart, you are not crazy. In fact, that would follow historical trends, that these high-quality uh, big companies that are making a ton of money, even though business may be slowing down, typically peak ahead of the market. So uh, these, these companies, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, all bottomed sometime in the fall of 2008, where the market did not bottom until March of 2009. So those companies and other companies like them will continue um, to, to bottom ahead of the overall market. I think we've probably got some more pain in equities before we hit a bottom there. But just remember, in March of 2009 is when the market bottomed. Unemployment bottomed in April of 2010. So while the economy may continue to deteriorate for a while, stocks will turn long in advance yeah. of the overall economy. We're always looking out 12 to 24 months. I'm glad I'm not crazy. Mike Lee, thank you very much indeed for joining us. I'll tell everybody when I get back into Microsoft. I'll, I'll be full public with it. Mike, thanks a lot. <laughs> Lauren thank is you. looking at...